What's up guys, welcome to Rafa's Garage. Today I'm working on my girl's car. Making a weird noise when you drive. Um, I'm gonna show you, I think it's her tsunami rear or the little flap mudguard that it has. Um, so let's go for a little test drive so you guys can hear it. Um, what I'm talking about and fix it because I'm probably gonna take this car up north. This is what I mean that the tsunami is loose. So I'm thinking that's the noise it's doing with the wind. Um, and also, I think this mud flap right here, it's kind of loose. Uh, I might take it off or tighten it. Um, hopefully that is the problem because this one's more secure. Uh, the other one's not. You see that little gap right there. Um, Kami is over here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remove the bumper, tighten that tsunami rear um, grill, and um, hopefully that solves the problem. I'll probably just take off the rear first and go for a test drive. And if I don't hear it, then it's the tsunami rear and I'll fix it. So let's get to it. The bumper is ready to take out. Uh, reason why I was taking so long is because they put this long ass screw down there on both sides on that side and on this side so it took a while to take it out um and the bottom ones are these that's why you saw me on the ground and of course four right here two right there two right here and it should be ready to pop out um i also took off the ones from the mud guard because they're on the bumper so should come out pretty easy right now hopefully and see what our problem is. Oh, there it is. It seems like they try to repair it because that's why it has a screw right here. But if you look down there, it broke right there. Um, pretty sure it broke to the one on the bottom right here. Like you can see it. I'll go under there right now and show you. So all these little ones. Or mostly all of them broke off, so there's supposed to be one right there, right there, right there, another one right there. So all of these broke off, or about to break off. So there's supposed to be like this one, this was not broken, or this one, this was not broken either. Um, see how I do it, this one's good. This one's still good. And then from here on, they're all broken. So, um, see if I weld it or I figure out a way to put a screw down there. Um, I'm not gonna do it like that one. I don't like it. It looks ugly. It's not like you can tell, but I don't like it. I'm gonna do it the right way. I'm gonna go for a test drive without the bumper, ride it like this, 
and if I don't hear the noise then you already know it's the rear bumper if I still hear it then um might be something else so let's go for a ride so time for a test run found the problem uh spacer was loose look at this not bueno so i'm gonna tighten these Let's see that was loose i'm tightening this i'm gonna double check the ones in the rear maybe the ones in the front also since i'm going for a long trip and go for a test drive right now uh figures out i'll talk to my girl um putting since i don't have time either i'm not gonna put the tsunami i'm gonna put a trd rear i may or may not put the o3 front um reason being is because i have to fix this bumper also it has um broken tabs or not broken tabs but all the way but they're kind of broken a little bit so i know the o3 has all the tabs there so safer to run it uh and i'll fix the tsunami front and rear whenever i get a chance so um so what i'm gonna do right now 